Hello everyone, welcome to another video and till now we have seen that how we can make a call to OpenAI or Azure OpenAI using either Python or C Sharp. But I have received lot many requests wherein people are asking that how can we use Postman to try out this OpenAI rather than start writing the code and that's the reason this video is here. So in this video I'm going to show you how can you utilize Postman to try out the Azure OpenAI API with and without using environment variable. So this particular exercise we will be doing using API key. So let me quickly move on to Postman. So this is the Postman and I'm clicking on this plus sign so that the new tab comes in. And then the first thing we need is the URL to which we want to make a call. So for that what you can do is you can go to the documentation so this is the official documentation and here you should find and so this is the example of the chat completion so i'm going to grab this particular thing from here and paste it over here and remember that it's a post call now there are a few things which we need to fill in here the very first thing is the endpoint so for grabbing the endpoint you can go to your azure portal and navigate to the instance of azure openai which we you have already created then click on azure openai studio so for me i have already created few instances or different different models here so these are the ones which i have already deployed and i'm going to use this gpt40 so if you want to try out something in this Azure OpenAI Studio, the, this is the place where you can try out the playground. You can go with the chat playground or you can go with the completion one. So let's go with the chat one. And here I'm going to select GPT-40. Then you can click on view code. So if you will click on view code, this is the thing where uh, this is the place where you will get the endpoint. So I'm going to grab this endpoint from here and place it over here as a placeholder so let me do it quickly okay then we need to provide the deployment id which is nothing but our model which we are planning to use so like i said we are going to use 40 so you can grab the name from Either you can type it or if you don't want any kind of mistake, then you can just copy it from here and place it over here. So I'm going to replace this deployment ID, this one, then chat completion and the API version. So I don't want to use this version, rather I would go with, definitely you can change with the version you want. I would prefer to go with the fab one. Okay, so till this point, if you will go ahead and click on send, you would realize that it is showing message that the wrong API endpoint or you would have not provided the valid key. So how to address this particular thing? Now before addressing, there is one more thing. This is a post request, so you need to send something as a payload. So what could be the payload in our case? So if you don't know, you can again go back to the example which you were looking at. Open your JSON format. So if you will open the JSON, this is the thing which we need to grab. So if you want, you can type it with hand, but I do personally prefer to just copy paste it to avoid any kind of mistakes. So here it's very complex. Let's shorten it a bit and just give some message. I would remove it and I would say hello and I will replace it with feel free to change the role as per your requirement but the idea here what I'm going to show you is just to make you understand how things work okay so now the another thing which we need is we have the version so the another thing which we uh, need to set up is the API key so API key is going to sit over here and what we can do is API key and here comes the value so you can go back to azure portal and from here we can grab the key sorry let me go back 
click on manage keys and you can grab any one of these keys so let me go and paste it over here okay now let's try it out how things are and you can see that the status code is 200 okay and this is the response which we received so hi there how can i assist you today so this is a very simple flow and if you will look at the body i have set these parameters you can definitely change it as per your requirement you can change the role you can add more roles if you want uh, but the one thing which i want to show is so right now what we are doing here is everything is like readable or in the plain text but we don't want this to be shown to the user so let's say you are giving some demo using postman then in that case this thing has to be hidden we don't want to like keep rotating our api keys so the solution here is to set it as an environment variable so what you can do is on the left hand panel you can uh, you will see environment so click on that and here you can see the new button click on that new and click on environment so as soon as you will click on environment a new environment variable will get added here you can name it whatever you want and once it is renamed you can give some name to it so in my case i have already created one she and v so let me quickly show you this so under she and v i'm having this particular variable so she and v is my environment name and this is the variable in which i'm uh, storing my API key so now whenever we are having that API key hard coded I'm going to simply use this and one thing to remember here is you need to activate that thing so if you are not selecting it will not go ahead and uh, like understand or figure out that what is your this particular variable is so just click on this and it will activate this particular environment variable for this session so let's go here and here we will just say and curly braces we can say this and you can see in the url also it got replaced now let me shoot out another request and you will see that things are still working so this is how you can utilize postman to make a call to azure open ai using api key i hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know what all things you want to know using postman with respect to Azure OpenAI. Thanks for watching.